Men, thank you for joining us for this evening's Millennium Stage. Please welcome to the stage Andrew Green and the Peachering Ragtime Society Orchestra. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. It is a privilege to be back here on the Kennedy Center's Millennium Stage, the Petrine Ragtime Society Orchestra, and your host, me. <laughs> We're actually very thrilled. We were here last year doing a Charlie Chaplin film and some ragtime favorites, so we were thrilled to be invited back for a nice evening on the weekend of Thanksgiving. So hopefully you guys had a nice Thanksgiving. We certainly did. We were busy prepping our music for today, or at least so I'm told. So, tonight we've got a great program for you, having two great silent comedies by the wonderful Harold Lloyd. Now, by a show of hands in the audience, who has ever seen a Harold Lloyd film before? Okay, so a fair number of you. So, with silent movies, back in the 19-teens and 20s, some theaters would have a piano player. Some would have a theater organ. But a lot of venues with medium-sized theaters would have an orchestra, a 12-piece orchestra. And we have recreated that for you with what we call 11 in piano. So we've got five strings, two woodwinds, three brass, a drummer with literally every kind of sound effect imaginable, and of course, yours truly conducting. So we'll be giving you an experience that comes straight out of the 1920s. So in order to be a 1920s audience, we need to have a 1920s film. There is some audience participation. So, if you see Harold or somebody else do something good on screen, the audience will clap and cheer. I think they're still um, working off that turkey dinner. Uh, the audience will clap and cheer. Hey, there we go. If we see our beautiful girl on screen, Harold's damsel, you will aww. Okay, that was more of a sigh. Come on. A nice, sweet aww. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, if we see a villain on screen, the audience will sneer and hiss. Sss, yeah, there we go. And if Harold does something funny, please laugh. <laughs> I love it every time. So feel free to laugh with this one. Our first picture comes from 1920, and it is based off a 1913 popular song called He'd Have to Get Under, Get Out, and Get Under, 
to fix up his automobile. So that's what this film is somewhat about, Harold and his misadventures with his beautiful 1913 Model T Ford. So without further ado, we're going to take you back to the year 1920 with Harold Lloyd in Get Out and Get Under. Thank you. 
Brad Davis on sound effects. Well, I think it's appropriate now that I introduce the rest of the orchestra to you. We've already introduced our sound guy for the show. On my left, I'm sorry, on my right here. It's, I guess it's stage left. I don't know. I'm tired. We have Livia Amoruso on first violin, Nick Montopoli on second violin, Emily Kurlinski on viola, Jessica Albert on cello, Sean Alger on bass, Caitlin Callahan on flute and piccolo, Nina El Hassan on clarinet, everybody and Neil Brown on our two antique Con New Wonder cornets, Mr. Corey Sancelo on trombone, and back in the corner using a 1918 Traps drum set is Brad Davis again, and myself, Andrew Green, head of the Petrine Orchestra. Thank you. So we have one more film from you by the great Harold Lloyd. Now what Lloyd was wonderful at doing was these things called thrill comedies. He had made one earlier in 1919 called Look Out Below, and it was a smash hit. Everybody loved this idea of combining comedy with thrilling action. So that's what he did later on in another film that you may have heard of called Safety Last. Almost everybody has seen the image of Harold hanging precariously from a clock tower above the streets of Los Angeles. Well, Never Weekend, the next film we're going to be showing you, was his film prior to doing the last thrill comedy of that. So we're going to show you how he developed it and gets unwindly wound up on top of a skyscraper on top of Los Angeles. So once again, if you see something good on the screen, you will clap and cheer for Harold. If the villain does anything in this, you will hiss. No boos, no boos, only hisses. If we see the beautiful girl, Mildred Harris, you will aw. Okay, I think they're getting tired again, guys. Try one more time. The aw. Okay, well, they're just forcing it now. Okay. And finally, if Harold does something funny, you can clap and cheer and laugh. There we go. So I think it's fitting now that we go to our last film of the night, Harold Lloyd in Never Weaken. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Weren't those two fabulous films to think almost 90 years old? Well, we hope you've had a fun time. We certainly have. On your way out tonight, I hope you'll check out our CD table. We have two CDs out. Our first called That Tease and Rag, a hodgepodge of everything from Scott Joplin to Jer- the job. Yeah. This is what happens after you wave your arms for about a minute, no, not a minute, an hour long. You can see what it does to the mind. But... I hope you'll check it out. We have Scott Chaplin, John Phillips Sousa, George M. Cohan, etc. We also have our brand new album out called Step With Pep, the ragtime and dance music of Mel B. Kaufman. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Kaufmans are in the audience somewhere, so try to say hi to them on your way out. But to close out this program, I think we're going to do one more number. It is called Shoot, and it is the first track on our new CD, so go check it out. Here it is, shoot from 1925. 